Hi, this is Matt from Studio One Expert. In the last video, we walked through installing Studio One and getting it set up to work with your interface. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and browse through your sound sets. Sound sets are collections of audio loops and instrument patches specially designed to work with Studio One and its built-in virtual instruments, including Impact, Presence, Mojito, and Sample One. There are also some tutorial videos and demo songs for you to learn from. The best way to install these sound sets is to start by opening Studio One. From the Studio One menu at the top of your screen, select Studio One Installation. From here, you can install the content from either the DVD that you received when you purchased Studio One, or directly from your user account if you have an internet connection. You can also install any content at any time you like from this menu. If you choose to install from your user account, it'll bring you to this page. As you can see, there are two sound sets here for you to download that are attached to Studio One Free. So go ahead and click each download button and download these sound sets to your computer. Once you've downloaded your sound sets, you can close the browser. Now you'll click on Install Content from DVD or Local Folder. From here, you're going to go to the folder that you've downloaded your content to by clicking on the Install From directory. And checking those sound sets. Now, when you first get started, you will not have this many sound sets unless you go straight to the top to Studio One Professional. That's okay. You should see two sound sets starting with Studio One Free. You will also have a folder of content that includes demos and tutorials. So go ahead and check all three of these items and click Install Three Packets. When it's finished, click Done. This will bring you back to the Start screen. Now click Create a New Song. Select an empty song. Oh, and don't forget to name your song. Now click OK. This is going to allow us to verify that all our content has been installed properly. As you'll see, your sound sets should be listed in the browser under Instruments. There's Music Loops and Instruments Volume 1. And as you can see, there are lots of options in both sound sets. Tons of basses. Guitars. Drums. Keys. Lots of options. Now let's open the folder that says Studio One Music Loops. Go ahead and click open the Bass folder and select a bass in these music loops. A music loop is a combination not only of a music patch, but also a MIDI file to get you started. So click on an instrument and drag it over. As you can see, if you drag it too far, it will vanish and not do anything. But if you drag it to the beginning of the timeline and release it, it will create an instrument track, install the instrument, and place a MIDI file there for you to play with. The cool thing is that this MIDI file can be edited. All the individual notes can be moved up or down in pitch, backwards and forwards in the timeline, giving you a lot of flexibility in creating your own music. Let's hear how that sounds. While you're auditioning a loop, it's probably a good idea to drag the loop indicators from the beginning to the end of the loop. One way to do this is to drag them just above the timeline. The other way is to single click on the MIDI loop and hit Shift P. This creates markers from the beginning to the end of the loop. Now, if you hit the slash key, it will turn on that loop. Hitting the comma key will take you to the beginning of the track and hitting the space bar to start over, you will now hear the MIDI loop playing over and over and over again from start to finish. And you can always drag in different loops, creating new tracks 
in order to audition different styles and see what works best for your production. Just solo the new track, and it will mute everything else so you can hear what's going on. Let's drag in a drum loop to line up with our bass track and see how that sounds. As you can see, the drum loop is twice as long as the bass loop. So all you have to do is go to the end of the drum loop, click on the very end of the loop, and drag the end of the loop back until it matches up with the bass loop. Now you can audition both together. Another cool feature is that you can drag a different sound on top of your MIDI loop and it will change the sound but continue to play the same loop. That's great for auditioning different sounds to match your track. This works not only with bass but with drums, keys, whatever. Not only can you drop new sounds on top of the MIDI part, but you can also drop them on the instrument itself if you have it open, like this. Now let's try changing the kit. Not every sound is going to work with your production, so just experiment and have fun. It's that simple to install your sound sets. And as you upgrade from version to version, you'll gain more and more sound sets to add to your collection, giving you a world of possibilities. That's it for now. We'll see you soon for more tutorials on getting started with Studio One.